Hello there and welcome to another questions and answer session with me, Jamie Bell 404. And today's question is a question about the differences between FAT32, NTFS and XFAT. Which one do I recommend to use on removable storage? Now this question was posted on my video about USB versus Firewire versus eSATA. Now um, for the future, please post the questions either as an email, which I normally get, um, that's for the majority of the comment, or on my actual channel um, in the comments section down the bottom. I don't mind answering them from there because I check my channel more often than I do every individual video. Okay, well, FAT stands for File Allocation Table. It was developed by Microsoft a long time ago, basically when the computer era just started. Now, the main disadvantage was that there was a volume size of 16 megabytes on the original FAT. And then eventually they upgraded that to 2 gigabytes on FAT16, and the most common of all, FAT32, eventually upgraded that to 32 gigabytes. But nonetheless, um, FAT32 is only useful today in terms for removable storage because most U USB flash drives, etc., are less than 32 gigabytes. However, an external hard drive you would have to format normally with NTFS unless it's smaller than 32 gigabytes, which not many are. Um, some Operating systems do support two terabytes on FAT32, so it's worth noting. But you've got to be careful as to what one you you use, and don't go out and buy a two terabyte drive and format it using FAT32, and then realise you can only get 32 gigabytes out of it. Now, the maximum file size was also four gigabytes. Now, that's a real problem for people with HD movies, etc., because most HD movies use 1.5 gigabytes per hour, and that's 720p. 1080 will use it even more. Now. We can uh, also look at XFAT or FAT64 and see that it's really improved in FAT32 because it allows 64 zettabytes on a single drive. Now the order is, it goes tera, peta, exa, zeta, so it's pretty big. Um, the maximum files on the, the drive itself are nearly unlimited. Whereas FAT32 did have quite a, a big limit on it, it was uh, 4 million approximately you could limit the number of files to. Um, and FAT16 was only 65,000. Um, now, the maximum volume size on a uh, NTFS system, which is new technology file system, is 2 terabytes. Now, we're approaching the 2 terabyte barrier now. Hard drives are making 2 terabytes, no problem now. Um, and, okay, fine, 2 terabytes is a lot of storage, it's hard to use. I've gone through a 1 terabyte drive and it's taken me a year, so I'm intending to replace that with a 2 terabyte one. But nonetheless, you can't go higher than 2 terabytes on NTFS yet. Now, uh, they have got NTFS 5. It only brings out new features and it's, it's quite um, popular now, it's well used. But nonetheless, um, NTFS is the standard today, but FAT64 is going to be a much more, uh, it's going to be a better system because it can have up to 64 zettabytes on a single drive. So what would I recommend for a storage device? Well, FAT32 is great for devices under 32 gigabytes. NTFS is great for anything greater than that, especially external hard drives. And XFAT64, it's it's not needed right now on an external drive because no one's going to have up to a 64 zettabyte, you know, USB flash drive. However, if you're using an external hard drive greater than 2 terabytes, although at the current time 2 terabytes is actually the limit they've made, as far as I know, and, uh, you know, you would use XFAT there. But NTFS is fine for just now for hard drives and USB flash drives greater than 32 gigabytes, but FAT32 is fine anything less than 32 gigabytes. I hope that answers your question and keep them coming.